So, Bitsat first attempt is finally done. Right as when you click the submit button, your first attempt score must have flashed in front of your eyes on the computer screen. Some of you must have got the score that you expected, while some of you must have not. But one thing that has happened with everyone is that now you have experienced how Bitsat works, how unpredictable the paper is, and uh, you know what is the exam pressure that you have in an exam like Bitsat. As well, what are the things that you need to take care of in the next attempt? Some of you who have not got the score you expected, you know, you may feel like your dream of getting into Bits Pilani cannot be fulfilled and that now you don't have enough time to make it happen. Trust me when I say this, you are not alone in this situation. There are so many other students who have not scored as per their expectations. But the one thing that will differentiate someone who is successful in Bitsat is the action they take after this first attempt performance. You only have a few days left for Bitsat second attempt and if you are someone who has decided to take action to ace the second attempt, go below in the comment section and comment Saat Me Fodenge. Because on this channel, we try to promote the positive culture as well as the values of community. Now that you've done this, let's start with the serious talk. You have hardly a few days left for your Bitsat second attempt and you cannot broaden your focus right now. In the coming few days, I only want you to focus on three important things. The first one being syllabus, second being mock tests and the third being revision. In these things, you don't have to focus on any other focus. If you have any distractions, if you have any other hobby or if you have something that you do apart from you know, these three things in the day, it is only going to negatively affect your overall performance. Firstly, let's discuss about the syllabus. It's been over two years since you have been preparing for JE and Bitsat. So definitely, I think you must have done a portion of the syllabus very well. But if there is some part that you have not touched yet and if you have not done well, let's say modern physics or there is something like, uh, you know, some chapters of inorganic chemistry which is asked in Bitsat, then in that case, abhi tumhare paas itna time nahi hai ki you go in the very depth of it and you try to figure out that this logic, this concept, how it exactly works. Just try to do one simple thing, that is learn all the formulae of that particular chapter, learn the notations of that chapter. If mu is given, what is the actually the notation? If V is given, is the meaning of velocity or is there something else? And third thing is the application of those formulae. Bitsat में तुम्हें बहुत difficult ऐसे एक सवाल नहीं पूछे जाएंगे where you know you have to apply a lot of your brain power to understand कि I am getting an output from this formula and getting some other output from some other formula then you combine them and you make a new thing it's not like JE you are not going to get questions which are from multiple chapters you'll be getting simple straightforward questions which require you to remember the formula and the application of them. If you don't have enough time and if you want to know some of the priority chapters that you must do for the second attempt, I'll put a list of chapters on the screen over here and you can take a screenshot and study them on priority because majority of the questions jo, uh, you, know, you can expect in the paper come from these uh, limited chapters. So I'm pretty sure that you have seen these chapters in JE as well and you can follow the similar trend. There are some extra chapters that I have written so you can definitely follow that. If you have first attempt of Bitsat, then you must have already understood the value of test series. When you have gone there, you must have got balanced or an unbalanced paper, whatever, during your case. And you must have realized that if I have given enough mock tests, then I would easily be able to manage my time well during the paper. We have also made an analysis video uh, on the channel previously and uh, you must have watched that. If you had analyzed 10 to 15 mock tests using that strategy before your first attempt, I'm pretty sure that you may know that you could have avoided so many mistakes in your paper. Is galti ko repeat nahi karna hai and you have to ensure that in the coming few days you answer at least 10 new mock tests. A mock test ka bhi aisa nahi hota ki you know you answer one mock test and it is equal to the level of paper you got in Bitsat. Test series term mein hi the word series means ki it is a series of tests which helps you get an idea about the level of the paper as well as the development of exam temperament. Don't waste time on figuring out which is the best test series in the market or the most relevant mock test. Instead of that, pick up any one test series that you genuinely trust and follow that very, very diligently. If you want to answer mock tests and if you don't know from where you can get them, then you can go to the website of Fodu Club and check out our test series. Depending on the amount of time you have plus the amount of mock tests you want to give, you can choose an appropriate product for yourself. The best part about this test series is that it is designed by a team of Bitspilani students as well as teachers. You get detailed solutions and analysis. Apart from the test series, you will also get chapter tests to revise your chapter prep, an English and logical reasoning course which you can use 
to score 90 out of 90 marks in the English LR section. And you will also be added to a Telegram channel where you will get updates regarding live mentorship sessions taken by Bitsians so that you can get the best resources for your preparation. Moreover, we have taken a very detailed feedback of the Bitsat first attempt from our students. We are going to update the existing parts of our mock tests and make them more relevant and tougher so that you are more prepared for the second attempt. The third thing that I want to talk about is revision. Now, when you are answering your paper, you must have realized that you are hardly getting 1.5 to 2 minutes to answer a question. But in a come time span, you have to read a question. You have to, you know, read the options. You have to analyze something in your brain. You have to remember ki kaun se chapter se hai, kaun se section se hai, and try to start writing about the question. In this process, 20-30 seconds so lag jate hai out of the 1.5 minutes. Hai na? Now the thing is that your recall ability, ki how fast can you solve a question in the exam, directly depends on how many times you have revised that topic. The more number of times you see a particular thing, a particular formula, a particular reaction, you know, a particular mnemonic, the higher chances of you remembering that in the paper. Isli, apart from covering the remaining syllabus that you have and doing mock tests, it is very very important that you also revise regularly. Now, it's not that like, if you are doing mock tests in a day, then us din you cannot study something or you cannot revise something. You have to do all the three things together. Eki din me tum subah mock test de sakte ho. Uske baad sham ko in the after the you know lunch time you can analyze that mock test. At night you can study new parts of syllabus and before sleeping you can revise the things that you already know. Revision ke liye the best resource is your own short notes. If you don't have short notes, then you can watch uh, some revision lecture at 1.25 or 1.5x speed to save time. Make sure that you are revising regularly and not just moving forward with syllabus. Because if you are moving but you have not revised it so you are getting more scope in your syllabus but the previous one will be going out of hand and it will affect your overall score. In revision point, I would like to also add one more thing ki it is okay if you don't know the entire syllabus. Hai na? Sometimes it is possible that you know 80% syllabus or let's say 75% syllabus. That is completely fine. What your goal should be is that whatever you know, you should know well. If 80% syllabus aata hai, to bitsat mein, if you get a balanced paper, then you should be at least able to score 70 to 75% marks. To sum up this video, I just want to say that uh, syllabus coverage, mock tests and revision are not three different things. They are actually three pillars of a tripod that help to keep the tripod intact. So, if you have to keep your preparation intact, these three things need to work together. If, if one of the pillars is a little weak, your overall structure will fall apart. That's why I understand that it might take extra time for you to revise, extra time for you to analyze a monk, you know, extra time to cover some um, small chapter from chemistry. But understand that you are not wasting your time, you are investing it in your future. Believe me when I say this the time period that you have between the first and the second attempt might feel less. But there are so many students and uh, I know a lot of them personally. So in the first attempt, they hardly 220-230 marks score. Kiye the. But they answered 15 and even 20 mock tests before their second attempt and they were able to easily score above 280-290 marks in their second attempt. So I am sure that if you follow these three pillars and maintain your structure very well, you will definitely be able to scale your marks by at least 50 before the second attempt. That's why follow all these things very carefully and be very mindful about how you spend your time in the last few days. Moreover, in this video, we discuss a lot about mock test and analysis. But if you don't know how to analyze your mock test, then you can click on this video in which we have done a detailed analysis of uh, the mocks of one of our students who has answered 10 plus mocks. And you know, uh, you can see the constant improvement they have made and how we exactly analyze a mock. That's it for this video. Do not give up for the second attempt. Saath mein